Lady in the Lake is a new Apple TV Plus series starring Moses Ingram and Natalie Portman. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Apple TV+. Plus. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. When the disappearance of a young girl grips the city of Baltimore in 1966, the lives of two women converge on a fatal collision course. So Lady in the Lake is based on a novel of the same name and involves Natalie Portman who is pretty bored with her life and separates herself from her son and her husband to pursue a career in journalism and it's a career path that she wanted to have when she was much younger. When there's a disappearance of a young girl in 1966 Baltimore, she takes it upon herself to investigate this case. She also becomes mystified by the disappearance of a bartender, Cleo, played by Moses Ingram, and she also investigates that missing person. Much of Lady in the Lake feels like it's two different seasons within one. There is seven episodes within this season, and the first half of the season really focuses on Natalie Portman as a person, what she's going through emotionally and personally, and how she can better her own self and pursue a career path that she's wanted to do for so long. It was all surrounding this young girl that was killed and how she's putting herself into the situation and interviewing people and trying to create a name for herself. There isn't much discussion of Cleo, played by Moses Ingram, and her disappearance, and that's and do we and we get glimpses of Cleo throughout the season, but it isn't really a focus on Natalie Portman investigating that until about middle half of the season when it's almost over. So it feels like the first season of this show should have been the disappearance of this young girl in 1966 and Natalie Portman investigating all of that and coming to a conclusion and figuring out exactly what had happened. And then it feels like the investigation with Cleo would have been a second season, a whole new story with Natalie Portman as she becomes more confident in herself and then she dives deeper into the case with Cleo. It's a series that tries to take on a little too much with different storylines and it doesn't allow for each storyline to fully flourish throughout the season. You have a whole focus of this young girl for like four episodes and then you have Cleo coming into play as more of a connection to Natalie Portman's character much later on in the series. And... And although we do get Cleo and her development as well, there isn't a strong connection between these two characters. And the synopsis for this series does feel like a spoiler within itself if you have not read the book. And the synopsis does talk about Cleo gone missing, and we do get to see a lot of Cleo within half of the series. Eventually, when she does go missing, it feels way too late in the series. The performances are really good in here. Natalie Portman in the beginning of the series, you could tell that she's bored with her life. She has a past that she's trying to hide, but it's all feel like a person that's holding a lot back. And once she puts herself out there and she starts to create a name for herself, she goes from a really nice lifestyle to barely affording her apartment and you see that confidence that's building throughout. A lot of personality given to this character as we fully get to understand who she is by putting her in this hard situation and allowing for her to overcome all of that. Natalie Portman's performance is very strong in here. And I really like Moses Ingram as well. When you see what she's going through in 1966 in Baltimore, dealing a lot with racial issues and, and how she's trying to overcome things for herself and protect herself. And Moses Ingram gives a very strong performance performance. The supporting cast is great in here. Noah Jupe has been quietly becoming a very confident actor and we see him play Natalie Portman's son within this series and he's put in the situation that he's with his father and his father's not fully taking care of him and Natalie Portman just upped and left him. So he's kind of like in this awkward situation and as the series does progress, he's becoming more and more fed up with this situation and that allows for this performance to really come out and just go head on with how he is able to 
communicate with his mother. And I really liked the performance from him. And it was really nice to see Mikey Madison in here. She was in Scream 5. And she's in a new Sean Baker film, Anor, which I'm very excited to see. So it was nice to see a performance from her as they build the anticipation for that new film. But once we dive deeper into these cases, it becomes a mystery surrounding what happened to this young girl that had what that died in a lake who was the murderer we kind of got glimpses of it in the beginning so it becomes a case for natalie portman to solve and it does provide for a lot of mystery throughout it's filmed beautifully as well in 1966 baltimore a lot of great shots of the city and a lot of darker shots at night to create that tone that mystery throughout the series I'm not sure how the book is structured, but I really think this is a series that could have been split into two different seasons. And the first season really just focusing on this young girl that died, and the second season focusing on the disappearance of Cleo, and then have a whole new story surrounding that character. I think that the series took on a little too much within seven episodes. It felt rushed at times, and not a lot, not a lot of time for a certain storyline to really have a strong development throughout. So I left part of the series a little bit overwhelmed with how the pacing was and the focus so much in the beginning of the series and not so much focus on Cleo at the end of the series. But nonetheless, I do think that a lot of it was very intriguing, a lot mystery behind the cases that Natalie Portman is getting herself involved with, seeing that character grow. That is all very interesting to me in both performances from Moses Ingram and Natalie Portman, all the minor characters as well. It is very strong within here. So before I give you my score for Lady in the Lake, make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Lady in the Lake a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Lady in the Lake, the new Apple TV Plus series. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.